they call Ruby? This hey. is Ruby. Hey Ruby, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Good. Hey, did Claxton tell you that I told him to do an undercover up? No. No, I have oh. not heard that. Okay. All right. I was just wondering. <laughs> um, however, <laughs> I did hear that you fired Pred. Yeah, I fired Pred. Is, can we get a inside scoop on why? Uh, yes, but I'm not going to say it over the phone. Okay, whereabouts are you? Uh, I am currently on Beach Head Road. I think Croc is bringing my car to me. I'm with Declan at the moment. And then, um, I You're aware can... Beach Head Road? Bay Tree Canyon Road. Oh, Bay... What are you doing up there? Someone stole my car and uh, um, Declan... Again? Yeah, Declan... Yeah, they actually stole it well, from... I was meeting with Declan. They stole it right in front of us, so... <laughs> Almost crashed. Yeah, my car's really easy to steal, apparently, so... <laughs> yeah, how exciting. Super fun. Um, yeah, uh, I can meet up with you afterwards and let you know. I'm you want to meet a trooper station? Sure. He's where's, right the, the where's the trooper station? The old trooper station and, you know? Popular Street. What? What, the trooper station? You mean the, the Rangers? Oh, yeah, yeah, Rangers. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 Rangers. Is Clarkson with you? No, I got Barrack. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can meet you there, sure. Okay. All right, I'll All meet right. you there in a minute. All right, see you Bye. soon. Bye. Thanks again, Declan. I appreciate Vehicle it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Phone with a full tank of gas. Thank you. That's very nice of you. You even repaired it for me. I'll see you. All right. Uh, yeah. Listen, if you want to go get your car and then meet up with me when you're done with that, is your report and stuff to you? Yeah. Uh, what was that? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh, what, do you want to go get your uh, get your car and you know finish up your scene and then we'll meet up? We'll talk. Yes, madam. Might be too much longer. All right, great. I'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks again, Declan. Thank you very much. If you need any uh, questions answered, just give me a call. Right? I'm always happy to help. How you two doing? We're great. We're fantastic. Yeah, you don't sound like it. It's been a tough Tuesday. All right. Why is that? It's just a tough Tuesday. I've had uh, cement in my pool. Uh, clowns just shot uh, at us. Tuesday. With hunting rifles. Yeah, it's been a great day so far. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, sorry uh, to hear that. <laughs> yeah. So um, we 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 saw you. You're in three one one. Mm hmm. And we were just kind of wondering what happened. He, I did ask him. He, he just uh, said something about he wasn't in a gang, but you thought he was in a gang or <laughs> something like that. Yeah, so um, I'll give you the full story. Basically, uh, when I hired Pred, um, I was informed by some people that he had some colorful friends, but, you know, they didn't really explain to me, like, the actual depth of, like, his, uh, connections, so to speak, right? Like, who he was actually affiliated with. They just said, like, you know, like, are you sure you want to hire Pred? He hangs out with some rough people. That's all they told me. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. It's not an issue. Um, you know, he, he's been doing lots of stuff on the streets. He's a little bit crazy, I'm sure, in there. But he's not been arrested for anything. You know, he's been, he's been to himself. He's fine. Um, so hired him, put him in the position. Uh, day two, I collected DNA as part of the onboarding process and I ran his DNA and I realized that it came back to uh, quite a few incidents in the past that were very concerning, including um, beating down a couple of police officers just a few weeks earlier. Um, I started pressing him about it and I needed him to be honest and to really go into detail and give me the truth. That's all I was really about was, was proving that he was willing to give up the past and that he was willing to be the new person he was claiming to be. And he failed to do that. And he lied to me. Day after day after day. And it kept getting worse. Until I finally caught him meeting up secretly with uh, members of his gang off duty with police equipment on him. And uh, that was basically the final straw. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So essentially, I have reason to believe he's gang affiliated. And has been lying about him cutting those ties. Yeah, because uh, he's approached us for a job. Well, I told him that if he really wants a job at the Marshalls, he can cut those ties and come back in a month. <laughs> okay. 
But uh, we're not going to hire gang members. I'm not going to allow it. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's For a obvious idea. reasons. I don't even think that needs to be said. <laughs> Can I get three? Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't want a bag? Absolutely not. Why not? <laughs> I'd rather be a civilian. <laughs> well, then work with Fred? Yeah. Well, then I'm sure you're relieved he's gone. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, we just uh, we just wanted to find out. Let's just meet in the middle and hire Bobby. That is not the middle. That's the pendulum swinging all the way, not just to the left, but all the way around 360. You know, Bobby's not at least getting affiliated, to most of my knowledge. So he does have that going for him. Okay. So this is how the phone calls <laughs> go with Bobby. Hello. Hi. Hi, Ask Chief. I was just wondering how my application is. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to look at it yet, Bobby. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Hang up. That's how your conversations go. My conversations Every... go along the lines of like, hey, Chief. Hey, Chief. Chief, listen, I'm on my knees. I, I'm literally on my knees. Please, please, please give me, please give me a job. That's how my conversations go. And then mm. I tell him, I'll think about it. And I hang up on him. Well, what if you guys did me a solid and you kept Clarkson around? You know, you promoted him, give him some responsibility, you know, give well, him. Well, he he told us he's going to Marshalls. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not true at all. He's expressed well, he interest. Said, he but... said you were giving him like a trial run or something. Like yeah, that. like a <laughs> week trial run. That's not at all what I told him. I said that if he'd like to come to the Marshalls, he should show some uh, aptitude and show some uh, go getter attitude and go drum up some investigations and see what he can do. <laughs> you know, that's what I told him. Was it drug related? I I said that we did drugs and I encouraged him if that's what he wanted to do, then sure. Oh. Why? Okay. This makes so much sense. Why? <laughs> What's going on? He is UC on a boat on the coastline. Right now? <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. tell him that was okay? No, I didn't tell him that was fucking okay. <laughs> huh. We don't even go UC without a warrant. <laughs> He's UC on a boat in Chumash. Did you say that I said that was okay? No, did he, did he say? say that. Okay. Okay, because I did not. <laughs> he needed to do this because. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot more sense why he's doing that then. Um, you know he's a cadet, right? You could just tell him not to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To be fair, I did allow him to because fuck it. Oh, fair enough then, right? Why not? I mean, fuck it, yeah, sure. I mean, Clarkson's. Listen, I know he's a cadet, but Clarkson's was in the same academy as me, actually, so. And he graduated, and the standards are pretty strict, but half of my class didn't make it, so... You know, despite how dumb he might look, he actually does have some brain underneath that stupid, dumb face of his. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys did fight on different sides of the war, after all. Yeah, but I won. You lost. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I was there, and... Yeah. yeah, yeah, I won the war. We won the war. Yeah. Not, not I, we. Um, but yeah, I, I specifically told him to do what he could do in his capacity as an officer and a cadet, so... That anything else is on him. <laughs> I've got a question for you. A little Sorry. bit different. Go for it. Here we go. Um, I, I've, I've known of who you are. I've worked a little bit with you when you were in the troopers, uh, you know, before the city uh, collapsed. Uh -huh. I, I remember you and I kind of watched your career path. Um... I'll be honest, what kind of advice could you give to Beric and I, who are probably uh, just waiting for the mayor to remove us from our positions oh, and no. we're kind of just waiting to see where we head next? Besides going on vacation, because I'm already going to do that. Well, career-wise, let's talk career. Uh, one second. Hey Croc, I'm in a meeting right now. Um, you can wait. You can wait uh, by my car if you want, and I'll come catch you after I'm done. Where's oh. your car? Uh, you see my blip on the map. If you just want to park next I to my car and uh, I'll I come actually down can't. Here I can't. I just looked for it. That's oh. why I'm calling you. Because uh, park I'm just station. Gonna... You can just park by my car. I'll talk to you when I'm done. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Thank you very much. Hey, oh, Carmen. Um. No oh, god. Listen, I've been there, done that, like three times in a row. Um. Actually, four. Um, listen, it gets easier the more that you go through this. Um, if you really are made of the stuff it takes to end up in these positions, you'll be here again. Um, you know, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to contextualize this answer, um, from my perspective. About seven years ago, when I was first hired to the PD, I got promoted to senior officer in FTO. 
after about seven months, because it was very difficult to get this, by the way, um, after about seven months mm -hmm. of trying and certifying and doing my best, the next day, they announced an entire restructure. The chief of police was fired. I was demoted. Um, everything was reset back to the way it was. And I had to start my climb all the all the way over again. Um, and I did. I kept climbing. Three weeks later, or three months later, I was a sergeant in this new police force. Um, and I kept making a name for myself, climbing up and up the ranks. Um, and I kind of capped it around, uh, you know, command, which is basically one step below high command at the time. Then, uh, you know, city goes through some changes, things move on. Um, I'm back in a command position, work my way up into high commands. And I spent a lot of time there going through restructures multiple times. I was demoted, put back in place, you know, vied for chief, couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the entire time I kept doing my best. I kept putting my best foot forward, even when it was hard, even when I was being looked down upon, even when people didn't appreciate the work that I did. I did what I thought was best for the organization as a whole because that's what I cared about. And my work showed through. And, you know, I, sure, I never made it to chief. I'll, I'll you know, admit that much. I, I, my bid for it failed. But that doesn't mean that as um, uh, ex high commands that um, I didn't do any good, right? And it's not about the rank that you hold, it's about the work that you're doing now. Even if you are moved tonight, that doesn't stop you from being the officer that you are and making a difference. And that difference that you make is what people will notice. Hmm. Yeah, I just think I have a, a, a different, uh, maybe future than Chief Barrack. I'm unsure. Um, well, we think you're going to go higher? No, <laughs> I don't. Are you getting uh, fired? I... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really think you're getting fired? Uh, if not fired, I think at most maybe senior officer. Why do you think that? Uh, I would say that the the talk that I had with the mayor was just very straight. It, it was like a, a, a what I would call an old school interview. Mm -hmm. Tons and tons of questions, not a lot of emotion. It was kind of like going through a list. And uh, I just, uh, I, I just don't know if Beric and I are what he's looking for. Well, that's okay. And it happens yeah. to me too. It's you can't always be the the pick, you know. I mean, like think about this. You had a really good run. Mm. Even chief for what, four months, five months? Mm. Yeah, I think about that. five months. Yeah. I mean, uh, by no means is the longest tenure or anything like that, but it's. It's better than most chiefs, honestly. I can think of a lot of chiefs that didn't last anywhere near as long as you guys. So, listen, I will say this, okay, Ruby? I don't know what you're like on the fields. I don't think it really fucking matters what you're like on the fields. As far as, like, a person and as far as a member of high command, I think that, you know, you, you have a lot of what it takes. You know, you have the people skills. You have the ability to communicate openly and honestly. You, uh, you seem like a really nice person. Um, just because you're not what this new administration is looking for, doesn't mean that you don't have a future. Yeah, oh, I, it's not that I don't have a future. I'm just not sure where the future's leading. So we'll have to wait and see. That's honestly, mm -hmm. in my experience, through like ups and downs and stuff like that. Eric's seen this shit play out multiple times, just like me. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> to me, just in my life, uncertainty is... Not something I've ever kind of shied away from, because mm -hmm. I think it ultimately will lead you to greener pastures. It's true. In a lot of ways. I wouldn't be where I was if mm -hmm. I got fired and you guys had actually hired me. <laughs> it is what this you think. This is true. Yeah, if you guys had actually hired me, uh, you wouldn't have to deal oh, with most of this Lord. stuff. So if you think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if only that background check had gone through. I, I don't know. I didn't even apply, honestly. It's not your fault. <laughs> we weren't accepting war heroes. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't apply because I didn't want to be insulted by having the material that I wrote uh, spit back to me as the cadet. So <laughs> I, I have too big of an ego for that. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, regardless, well, regardless of that, I think that you have a bright future ahead of both of you, really. You know, even if, uh, you know, your time is high commitment is tonight. That doesn't mean it's going to be the end of your future at all, so... Yeah, yeah, I think we both know that. We're just, uh... What do you guys so want to do? Just a way... 
I, I don't know. I want to go to I... Greece and forget about everything for a week. That's fair. That's love, totally understandable. I love Greece. <laughs> Santorini. Oh. Never been. Uh, for my career, if I if I can't stay in Command Plus position, I uh, I think I will open my eyes and see what else uh, I could go towards. You would be surprised how much tenure can carry you through a new administration. You can honestly kind of guilt trip your way into command position. I'm not gonna lie. Depending on who gets oh, put, yeah, I, if, I don't want to. If do you that. do get no, what I'm saying, if you do get removed as as the chief or whatever, and uh, you two get removed as chief and assistant chief, and you just happen to be the right place, right time, you can definitely be command plus easy peasy. <laughs> who doesn't want an experienced high command member as uh, as command? You know. Some people hate oh that God. shit though. Some people would go out of their way to demote you as far as possible because they don't want you. Bringing up dissent and potentially True. offending them—it just depends True. on the person, yeah. you know. Yeah, I I'm just, just thought I'd see ask what happens, you. See who's interested. Mm -hmm. I'll go from there. That's fair. Well, like I told you guys, you know, the marshals are always hiring. We're looking for capable, competent people, which you two both are. So, and well, let's be honest, I think that desk work is probably both more your two style. <laughs> uh, fifty-fifty. 50-50. I, I, I love being out there with everybody. <laughs> I really do. It's true. I, I get that. Very important question. It will not influence my decision at all. Mm -hmm. But it, surely, it's very important though. Mm -hmm. Are you guys getting jets? Uh, no, but we are probably getting an attack helicopter. Oh, That's Lord. Cool no. You know, like uh, 11 kill streak chopper gunner? It's probably okay. one of those. So. All right. yeah. We actually just got sniper rifles, by the way. Oh, like I'm not even bullshitting oh, you. We God. have this in, in our arm right now, so like for real. Yes. If you don't believe Holy me, I'll show cow. you after this. All right. <laughs> High pitched. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, oh, well thank you. I need to know Thanks what you guys. I need to know what you guys think about Croc. He wants to be Marshall, and for my, I used to listen. I used to be this guy's fucking boss in a lot of different ways, and. He was a bunch of red flags then. What do you guys think about him now? <laughs> um, where is he? It's just down there. Underneath us. Yeah, he's in the car over there. Um, my experience so far is that we have three formal complaints about him. Hey. Uh, he is 100% <laughs> letter of the law. Uh, he walked into the meeting room about a week ago and pretty much told me uh, I haven't been on duty because I just don't uh, like the LSPD. I don't like what it's doing. And I said, you haven't even been here in six weeks. Uh, make up your minds. I said, come on, Judy, get to know the people and do the work. Um, he is very letter of the law, 100%. There is sometimes not so good at reading the room. Uh, does he good? Does he do good work? Yes, he can. You know. Mm. Yeah, that's a smart, right? There are people in this world, th there's a reason that people think a certain way when it comes to, you know, if people can change or if they can. Croc is the reason that people think that nobody can change. <laughs> well, so he's the type of person. I mean, I, he's been fired it like sounds like times. it sounds like he's the same as when I fired him from SRU. Oh, yeah. he's, he's no no, different nothing's changed, whatsoever. basically? No, okay. No. All right. No. He, well, was, he was different know. for probably like a week and then, you know, he came back to okay right. Purple, back to where he is. see right now a lot of officers they have the perception or they've heard through the grapevine that the marshal's job is to go through all of our reports and just to pull us no apart. no no no, no. <laughs> with you see that's the perception within because uh i mean that's because that's all pred wanted to do he didn't want to actually do our job which was to go and you know find mm -hmm. these criminal organizations that are doing a bunch of drug shit and take them down like the marshals do much more than just uh, oversight right. of police like that's one thing that they do sure but honestly it's not even the main focus of the, the our organization oh god um anyway thank you so <laughs> much for meeting and chatting okay. with us yeah, i'll head down and talk to him um, hey i won't tell him what you said if you guys ever want to talk in the future if you do get fired give me a call listen i've been through before i know what it's like to get fired one time ruby i'll tell you this i ran for chief of police 
fucking I was gonna win the chief the chief police election too. The Russians fucking hacked the election, took away all my votes, and gave six billion of them to some fucking dumbass. So what um, the hell? I'm gonna do the ringer who, back. Who's the dumbass? Who's the dumbass? Brian Knight. Do you remember that pick? You remember that? I worked for Brian. He was I was DPD. Yeah, your your boss was a fucking war criminal to the worst extent. Holy You're, shit. If I if I was the, the leader of the marshals now, Brian would be fucking in permanent handcuffs waiting for a, an execution after his treason trial, so... <laughs> I haven't seen him in months. Probably for the best. <clears throat> well, uh, I'm gonna head down and talk to Croc. I'm okay. talking to you too, Listen, right? Uh, I mean, Croc's <laughs> a straight shooter. You, you, you know what you get with him. It's right yeah. there. I, it's, I, I know it's... him very, very well. I honestly, yeah. I'm not trying to brag, but I've been his boss for longer than you, so... <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll see, see, see you guys later. <laughs> God, I'm such an asshole, chat. Hey, Croc. 